Hey folks, and welcome back. Today we're going to go through the best method to cook the perfect ribeye steak. All the methods that we're going to go through today can be applied to cooking any cut of steak. If you follow these simple instructions, you're going to get the perfect steak every time. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Let's just quickly go through what we're going to need first. Olive oil. Rosemary. Garlic. Butter Some salt and pepper for seasoning And of course the ribeye steak The final cooked steak is only going to be as good as the steak that you start out with I'm using a dry aged one here Please make sure that it is at room temperature before cooking The pan or skillet that you use will also affect the final steak a steel pan is perfect because it has even heat distribution and will last you a lifetime, unlike non-stick coated pans that you have to replace every few months. Give the garlic a crush using the flat end of a knife and also bash the rosemary using a rolling pin. This will help to release the fragrant oils. Season the steak well on both sides with salt and pepper. Add the oil into the pan and heat it up to a hot temperature before adding the steak. Add the steak into the pan and cook it for about 3 minutes on each side for medium. When the steak is in the pan, you can press it down to make sure that it is touching the pan, but don't move the steak around in the pan initially. This will give the outside of the steak the desired caramelization. Add the butter into the pan along with the garlic and rosemary. Rub the garlic and rosemary onto the steak to impart their flavour. and also baste the steak in the flavoured butter sauce. So that's how you cook the perfect ribeye steak. One thing that you're supposed to do is to let the meat rest on a board for a few minutes before serving. However, when a steak is this good, I'll forgive you just this once for eating it straight away. Thanks for watching folks and see you next time.